Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And in today's video, by popular demand, we are going to be showcasing a Super Saiyans category team on the new legendary Goku event on Global. Now, I know that it's technically called the Fighting Legend Goku event now, but I really, really don't like the new name they gave it, so we're going to stick to the original and still call it the Legendary Goku event for now. And as far as the team we're bringing here, we have my own Namek Goku with no dupes at the free dupe level. But the good thing is, even though he doesn't have any extra dupes in him, he is still extremely, extremely good and very effective on this event. And for the rest of the team, guys, we have LR Gogeta who's rainbowed. We have LR Vegeta who has two dupes. We have the exchange units in the Goku and Gohan, as well as the Vegeta and Trunks, and a transforming Vegeta who has two dupes as well. And the friend here, I believe, has one dupe. Yes, he has one dupe in him. So that is the setup. And for the items, we have a Princess Snake, we have Icarus, Future Bulma, as well as Android 8. So that's it. Without further ado, guys, let's jump into the showcase and see what this team can do. Okay, honestly, I'm going to be upfront with you. I already cleared this event with this team so I know exactly what they can do here but uh, I think it still makes for a fun video nonetheless. They do make this event quite um, quite easy, quite, quite trivial. There are quite a few teams actually in this game that can make this event pretty easy and uh, this is definitely one of them but the one that really takes the cake as far as OP teams, I mean just in general but especially on this event too, is the Kamehameha team. I mean, look at what you're what you're running, man. You have the AGL LR Gohan that stacks defense. It can get up to over a million defense on this event. Uh, you have the LR Cell, who's just a great tank, but also gives you the full heal upon transformation. You also have Gogeta, LR Gogeta, LR Vegeta, who both give you full heals too, and are just monsters after transformation. And uh, there must be other stuff I'm forgetting about too. I mean, you could bring Goku and or uh, Gohan and Goten, um, but they're not like super good or as good as the other guys without the right setup around them. But that team is just stupid, guys. Like that is just a absolutely ridiculous team. Now, uh, I didn't even mention this, but there is one glaring omission from this team right now that you might have noticed, and that is the. Of course, AGL LR Gohan. And for anybody that hasn't watched my summoning videos during the 300 million download celebration, there's a reason I'm not running him on this team. If I had the option, if I had the option, I would definitely be running him on the Super Saiyans team. But unfortunately, I spent 3,000 stones on his banner and could not pull a single copy. And uh, that was one of those times, like one of those very rare moments since I started playing Dokkan. I was contemplating quitting the game just for a brief moment but it, it, the thought crossed my mind it definitely did man I mean just think about it three plus one multis right the discounts were there three plus one and you're doing three thousand stones and you still don't pull a single copy of the new featured unit it's just how statistically likely is that the chances of that happening are extremely extremely low so anyways um, that's the last thing I'll say about that I've been complaining about it for quite some time now. I mean, I feel like I'm justified in doing so, but I'm gonna stop. I'm, that, I'm just want to make it clear that I did not decide to not bring the AGL Gohan because I didn't want to. It's just because I don't have him. You know what I mean? But you know what? doesn't matter. We don't need him because this team can take care of this event with no problems. Uh, the strategy here is very simple, just like almost any other strategy when it comes to this event. And it's basically stack as much defense on your stackers as possible. So that by the end of this event, when you're facing the uh, STR UI Goku as well as the Int MUI Goku, your defense for most of your units is going to be off the charts, man. Like for example, the Exchange Vegeta and Trunks uh, and the Exchange Goku and Gohan are ridiculous on this event because they stack defense with every single super. And by the end of this event, they should have somewhere in the range of like 500 to 700,000 defense, which is just stupid. It makes you pretty much a brick wall, right? 
And when it comes to the fusions, like, yeah, they don't stack defense, but just being LRs with high stats, they still tank pretty damn well. And of course, when they transform or when they fuse, it's a free Senzu Bean, and also they just become ridiculously strong too. So uh, that will probably happen in this run, but the main focus here in the early stages is definitely to stack these guys' defenses. So we're going to keep them in rotation. We're going to take out the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito from the rotation because they don't stack, of course. And that's pretty much it, man. I mean, it's still something you have to pay attention to. Like, I still can't be doing, like, something else completely and trying to play on the side because I've died once. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Off camera, I did die once to the uh, Int MUI Goku at the end because I was watching TV and I was eating at the same time. And I was trying to run this event to try to get my seven clears through. We're uh, on five now, I believe. This is actually the sixth clear after I beat it. But uh, yeah, I was like doing all this stuff at once and then I didn't pay attention. I got super with type disadvantage on the Goku and Gohan. And I believe at that time they were only around 250 to 300,000 defense and it killed me. So you still got to pay somewhat attention, like not a ton, but at least a little bit of attention. You know what I mean? And uh, if you do that, then you're good to go. Okay, so we're just giving one orb doesn't really matter here. The Goku, like I said, doesn't stack defense. Or did I say that? I remember. But he doesn't stack defense until uh, he transforms into Super Saiyan. So right now, I don't really care too much if he gets the Super off. And the main focus is the Vegeta here. Because once he goes blue, he doesn't stack defense anymore. So he has the Super every single time. I mean, by the end, when you're facing the MUI Goku, um, with the type of bandage, he really doesn't take that much damage anyways. But the only issue is... You have to get through the STR UI Goku first, and he does give you some trouble if you bring physical units like this guy, like the Vegeta or the LR Gogeta, right? Okay, here we go. Um, at this point, we can exchange the Goku and Gohan as well as the Vegeta and Trunks, but I would highly, highly not recommend it because they stop stacking defense after they exchange. So the only time you would want to exchange these guys, I would say, is like on the very last rotation where you know for sure like for 100% certain that you've won the match, then maybe exchange them. But even in that case, I still probably wouldn't do it just because I prefer to play things safe. That's kind of my my thing. That's kind of my MO. I like to play it safe as opposed to taking a lot of risks. I mean, of course, if I was going for like a no item run, then yeah, we take the risk just to get that no item run, right? But that's not what we're doing here. We're not doing that here. So if you guys were expecting a no item run, I'm sorry to disappoint, but the purpose of this video here is mainly to wait is this enough one two three four five six yes okay is mainly to showcase the team and uh, get this clear and then in the future i'll come back and do like a no item run i mean here's the thing it could totally happen it could be totally possible where we do no item this run like this team could definitely do it but if there's a situation where i feel like you know, it's dangerous like a super could potentially kill us here I'm an item, all right? So just keep that in mind. I, I don't want to put any false expectations out there. You know what I mean? Okay, dude, this Goku, man, the animations are so freaking clean. Like even pre-transformation, that, that spirit bomb, so nice. It's so nice. It's like 90% of the reason why, I mean, let's say 70% of the reason why I wanted him so bad. And the other 30% would be his category, right? His leader skill. But dude, I mean, it just, it's so freaking clean. It's so freaking clean. Okay, we're coming close actually to a transformation from the Gokus, uh, which I hope to get soon because, like I said, he doesn't stack the defense until he transforms. Um, let's actually continue with this rotation here, though, with the two exchange units together so that they can keep stacking their defense. And I'm sure later on, like, the transforming Goku will still get enough defense. They should still be in the range of, like, 200 to 300,000 defense, which... It's still pretty respectable. It's, it's still pretty good. All right. Oh, by the way, let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing on this event. Uh, I know I talk about this like it's not a difficult event, but I do realize, and I think a lot of people don't realize, is that um, not everybody is a veteran player, right? And also not everybody is pay to play. And there are a lot of people that play this game that do find this event very, very challenging along with Super Battle Road and Battlefield and stuff like that, right? So you gotta keep that in mind. I mean. Depending on the units you have, if you don't have like the most OP categories and the most OP leaders and all that stuff in the game, like the AGL Gohan, like this Super Saiyan or uh, Namek Goku, it's still going to be a bit of a challenge or 
a lot of a challenge for some people to face this event. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys managed to beat this event with some of the less OP teams in this game. Oh, one sec. Let's focus here. One, two, three. Oh, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay, perfect. You know what though? It's sometimes those like really slow ones that get me because I'm expecting it to go faster. And since you're so like in such anticipation, sometimes you misclick because it's going so slow. But anyways, uh, let me know if you beat this event with any creative teams or even like a free to play team like Jay Fanta did. I think those are extra, extra impressive. Honestly, beating this event with a team like this is not really anything to brag about. Like I I'm about to do it now and I'm not going to brag about it. I'm just saying like this team is OP. Kamehameha teams are OP, so if you bring an OP team like this that stacks defense, also has like a lot of hard hitters, it's not really like anything to write home about, right? It's like you're expected, you're expected to beat this event with this team, but if there's anybody out there that beat it with like a team that has no defensive stackers or a completely free to play, oh crap, I didn't realize I was, uh... yeah, it's fine, I guess. I should have given more key to the Vegito. It's my bad, it's my bad. It's all good though. We should still be fine. Um, yeah, if you beat it with any like crazy teams out there, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear uh, what your clears were with those teams, and also maybe try it out myself if I have a chance. But yeah, like I said, this team should be just fine. I mean, this super could still do quite a bit of damage. I'm guessing... Oh, 113k, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. I, what I want is to fall below 70% uh, HP so we can get the transformation with the Goku. This is actually one of the only runs that I've done. I've done, I think, six clears or five or six clears so far. And, you know, by this time I should already have the transformation for both Gokus, but it hasn't happened yet. It's like, I mean, it, it means it's going well, honestly. It means that the run's going really well. But I do want to have the transformations as soon as possible, man. I want the defense to stack as soon as possible. Hmm. Yeah, this might give us some issues in in the in the end game when we face the UI Goku at the end, because if those guys don't have a lot of defense built up, then I have to worry about them too. I mean, I already have to worry about this Vegeta here. Uh, I think he's at 190,000 defense. You know what? Let's check in a second. Let's check after this rotation. But uh, he is a little bit worrisome up until the final stage. But before that, if you're when you're facing the STR UI, he is a bit of a liability. So I don't want to have to worry about the two Gokus as well, man. Come on. Yo, do some more damage to me. Yo, Goku, do some more damage to me. <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay. That's such a clean animation. Such a clean animation. Yep, still above 70%. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, let's see what our defense is at. Okay, so Goku and Vegeta... Sorry, uh, Goku and Gohan are, are almost at 200,000. And Vegeta Trunks are at 143,000. So both quite high. Let's put Goku here. And we go with that. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say about this about this team, about this run. You just keep going with the strategy, uh, keep stacking the defense, and you'll be just fine. Ooh, okay. I like that. We're getting supered. Perfect. 116k. Now we're finally going to get that. Actually, we're going to get a fusion next turn. Yeah, we're going to get a fusion next turn. So we're going to heal back up to full again. Cool. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. At least we get to see the fusions. If we're not gonna see the transformation for the Namek Goku, at the very least, we get to see the fusions, right? Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, you just you just continue with the strategy. Just keep uh, keep stacking the defense, and it's just gonna take some time. Like it's still even with the most OP team, I think this event still takes between 25, 30 minutes per clear. I'm not really sure. I haven't really been keeping track of how long it's been taking me. But it still does take quite a bit of time because the Goku gets pretty tanky, he has a lot of HP, so yeah, we're going to be here for at least another 15 minutes, I'd say. Alright, we got the double fusion here. Yo, I love Vegito on this event, man. I freaking love Vegito with those crit counters. If you have at least one dupe in your Vegito, he can crit on the counters, and they do so much freaking damage, man. So much freaking damage. Hopefully we see that here. I mean, I love Gogeta too, although I don't love his 12 key. Yo, have you guys noticed how weird LR Gogeta's ears look in that 12 key Superman in the Big Bang Kamehameha? Like, it's like, he has like, he has like, he has like the biggest ears ever. It's like Trunks' nose. You know LR Trunks in the art with that like weird hook nose? Alright, 763k, no crit though. The crit would have done like 
1.5 mil maybe something like that yeah i mean yeah gogeta's ear looks really weird yo if they're gonna revamp another unit's super attack like they did the int lr gohan soon can they please pay some attention to my boy lr gogeta because they need to fix his ear man i mean the the, the 18 key looks great the 18 key looks perfect but the 12 key not a big fan of all right any bandai spies out there right now you're listening i know you're out there somewhere if you're listening please make the change change my boy lr Kochita's ears make them a little bit smaller i think that's the only issue they're just way too big and while you're at it you can also change lr trunks's card art to make his nose a little bit more normal um i mean if, if we're in the business of changing card art or improving them I also have an issue with the new Tech Trunkses. I know he just came out on JP, but new Tech Trunks, not loving his uh, head either, man. I think his head is out of proportion with his body. Yo, maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe I just have too many issues. That that might that might be it. That might be it. Ooh, uh, is Namek Goku getting super? Ooh, yeah. See, see, yeah. Okay. At least we're finally getting the transformation. One of my, fa you know what? This is my favorite animation. Or transformations in this game oh, that looks so good man that looks so freaking clean okay so what we're gonna do here is we definitely need to we might, we might have to item here actually because at this point usually the namek goku would already have like 150 200k defense but since it took us so long to transform him uh, I'm thinking we still need to protect him a little bit, right? So let's actually put him at the end here. Or actually, I, I kind of want to keep him in rotation just so he can stack more every other turn. Uh, so let's actually use a Princess Snake. I usually don't item this early, but like I said, I'd rather clear it in this video than potentially die better safe than sorry, right? Okay, here we go. And we're going to take Gogeta out of rotation just because we don't really need him that much right now. There we go. Okay, man, we're still getting the 12 key off. I'm gonna have to see that massive ear again. <laughs> but it's okay. All right, one point, almost 1.7 mil attack stat from the Dupless Goku, guys. Dupless Goku, 217k, okay. And as you can see, the damage reduced by quite a lot, even with that one super. It went from like 20 something k to uh, under 10k for the normals. And then after a few supers from the Goku, he should be taking double digit as well. All right, give me some crit counters, Vegito. Okay, that's not a crit counter. Normal counter. Okay, come on. Crit. All right, no crit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta look for that red flash. Red. Okay, no, still no red flash. Come on. All right, and that's it. Man, we're not getting the best RNG right now. <laughs> like, I just did a run a couple hours ago, right before I filmed this video, and I was getting, like, all the crit counters. I got the transformations really, really quick, too, and everything. But you know what? That's how it goes sometimes. Now, you don't always have the best RNG in these things. Uh, at, the, at the very least, man, our exchange units are beasting right now, man. Look at that defense right now. Let me see. Yeah, uh, 207,000 defense from Goku and uh, 172k from Vegeta. And it's only, go it's only going up from there. It's only going up from there. Oh, I didn't realize I was actually giving key to the Vegeta. Man, that's two misplays. That's two misplays right there. Well, at the very least, we're only taking one attack at the end. If it's not a super will be good if it is a super then that is a pretty big mistake so let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope that that one attack is not a super i mean we're getting attacked so many other times there we go we're good we're good okay i'm wondering what goku is going to take this for we do have type advantage we have over 200,000 11 k all right that's good that is good unfortunately the friend goku is still not going to transform Man, it's never been this hard for me to get a transformation off with both Gokus. I mean, I guess it's a good thing. I, I guess it means we're playing this well. I guess it means we're playing this well. But maybe it's time to start taking a few more risks, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, so we have 89,000 defense on the uh, on my Goku. The friend Goku has 124,000. Um... I guess I'll keep mine in rotation, or maybe the friend in rotation. Hmm, not really sure. How do we do this? How do we do this? Uh, let's actually keep mine in rotation here, and until the friend transforms, we'll keep taking it out of rotation. All right. So we can take those orbs, and uh, they can have. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, that's fine. All right, give me a crit counter. Give me. <laughs> oh, actually, I forgot. When you dodge, you still get the counter. Okay, that's awesome. 
Come on. Yo. <laughs> Where are the crits, man? This man has a 30% chance to crit. How many normal attacks have we taken now? Without a single crit on his counters, man. Come on. Oh, and an additional. Okay, that's cool. <sighs> and finish it off here with the crit. <sighs> Still no crit. All right. All right. Over 2 million, though. Over 2 million from the no dupe Goku. Uh, we are getting the boot. Oh. Okay. This could hurt. This could definitely hurt. 280? Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We got this. We got this. I think. I don't, I don't remember this Super Saiyan Blue Goku doing that much damage, though. <laughs> alright, alright. That was a little bit dangerous. That was a little bit dangerous. Um, well, we definitely have to item here. There's no question about that. Let's, uh, let's use a Android 8 here. As I said in the beginning of this video guys, we're not going for the no item run, we're going to use a few items, I don't plan to use all of them, I don't think we need to use all of them, but in the interest of actually surviving until the end and not potentially dying, we're going to keep going with uh, items as we need them, but I think, yeah, that was definitely a bit of a misplay there, I mean, the difference between this run and the past runs is definitely the fact that the transforming Goku didn't transform. Uh, until so late and then there's still one the friend one that still didn't transform yet so it's a little bit weird it, it, it's a little bit weird just like how how he still hasn't transformed yet we're about to go into the final fight we're about to fight the int mui goku and the friend namek goku still is in his base form it, it's just weird all right we're getting supered less than 100k 25k yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, the full 24 key super with the Gogeta. And give me a crit. No crit, but 1.5 mil and an additional. Man, both of these Fusion LRs are showing out, guys. Oh, uh, man. I if for nothing else, man, I love this event for the fact that it allows us to actually see these animations. Uh, and the transformations that we usually don't get to see on most events, man. It's it's nice. It's nice to finally be able to see them. Is that the 18 key? Oh, just one key off. One key off. Let me see what Goku has as far as defense goes. Uh, 165k already. 165k already. Uh, oh, actually, we have the we have the item active, right? We have the Android 8, so it's actually a bit lower than that. And Vegeta currently has 285,000 defense. So if, even if we do get supered, it shouldn't kill us here. By any means. Alright, let's see some crit counters. Go in here. Yes, we there we go. Alright, that's one. Come on. Alright, that's one. <laughs> we got one. We got one. That's all I wanted, man. I just wanted the one crit counter. Oh, we're getting a crit for the for the super. And he's dodging that one. Alright. So there's my Goku. 1.69 mil. Almost 1.7 mil once again. And we're hitting for 229k. Yeah, I mean, his damage is not going to be too crazy here. But defensively, he is very, very good after he transforms. And that's why I want the friend to transform. I need the friend to transform here. We're going to the final fight. He's going to be hitting extremely hard. I am definitely worried. Definitely a little bit concerned. I'm glad that Vegeta didn't get supered here. That is perfect. Uh, friend still can't transform because we are at around 80% defense right now. But the good thing is, of course, the Goku and Gohan are at uh, 284,000 now, and the Vegeta and Trunks are over 200,000. So I'm not gonna be iteming here. Maybe I should, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. And, oh, we don't, I mean, we're pretty much healed back to full. Yeah, all right. Let's see what they take these attacks for. Okay, double digits. Of course, the super is the thing that's very concerning. We are gonna build up a little bit more defense here. <sighs> okay, 225k, 130, 105, very, very nice, very, very nice. And the Vegeta does get stronger and stronger with every attack too, because he also gets attack on his passive, or on his supers, and he's supering twice. I love it, I love it. But these two guys are actually insane, man. These two exchange units for free-to-play units are so damn good. They're so damn good. 
can super me right now, man. I dare you. Oh my god, he's gonna super the Goku. He's gonna super the untransformed friend Goku. I can see it right now. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we dodged the bullet. We dodged the bullet. Okay, now the uh, transform Goku is at 131k. Alright, uh, I'm actually gonna keep Vegito definitely in front of those attacks. And actually... Hmm, I don't know. We can't super here. I mean, I don't want to put the Goku there. I don't want to put the Gogeta there, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess there's nothing else we can do here. Not much, um, not much option, but we can get the full 24 key super for our Gogeta, which I think, if he doesn't dodge at least, uh, should finish it here. I mean, this stage, that is. Nice. Crit counter, even with 11 key, the crit counter still does like 700,000. Okay, okay. This could hurt, yeah, that, that, that hurts a little bit. That hurts a little bit. Uh, still gotta pay attention, guys. Still definitely gotta pay attention to those supers. Even if you have a good amount of defense, over 200,000, 300,000, doesn't matter, man. You're still gonna be eating those supers for probably over 100k. I mean, unless we're talking about something like a, something like a AGL or Gohan who can get up to a million plus defense. That's, that. he's a cheat code. He's a cheat code, that's not fair, all right? Even if I had him, I wouldn't bring him. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> that is a total lie. I wish, I wish I had him. Um, yeah, man, it's just not really an option that was ever presented to me. Uh, I Actually, I probably should put the Goku here in the middle. But, you know what, just to be safe, we're actually going to pop the Prin... No, no, mm, let's pop the Bulma. Get a little bit more attack in here. Because I'm not too worried about getting killed by a super, I'm just worried about a super actually doing like 100k and still potentially killing us, right? So, just to be safe. I'm gonna play it a little bit safe. We are getting near the end, it would really suck to die here. I really don't want to die here. Uh, I want to get my stones, I want to get my 7 clears first, and then after that we'll go for the no item runs. Alright, after we do all 7 clears, which I think this might be the 6th or 7th one, then we'll be a little bit more risky because it doesn't really matter if we die or clear or, does, or anything, right? Because you're not getting any additional rewards past the seventh one. And what we'll also try with like a few extra fun teams too, right? What we'll try stuff like a full free to play team or a non stacking team that has nobody that stacks defense, which does make this significantly harder, guys. If you want a challenge on this event, uh, don't bring a team like this. Don't bring a team like this. Bring a team like. Are you serious? You, uh, uh, okay, so as you guys can see, we're about to get the Dokkan attack off, which I really, really don't want here. So hopefully one of these counters from Vegito. Okay, we're getting supered. Uh, perfect, perfect. Well, hopefully the second, the, the, the first counter with the second attack will just kill Goku. No. Oh, oh my god. That is so annoying. That is the worst time to token attack possible. All right, there we go. So we basically wasted a token attack. <sighs> kind of sucks, but not really something that's in my control, unfortunately. So we're gonna move on now to the next stage. How sweet would it have been if we were able to like get that token attack off on the MUI Goku with like an LR Gogeta? That would have been perfect, but. What can you do? 2.3 million damage, wasted. This guy only needed like 100k to die. Oh man, that hurts. That really hurts. All right, so let's see what Gogeta's defense is at. 159k, it's pretty good. Um, maybe I'll take Goku and Gohan out of rotation like that and then still keep uh, Gogeta here. Instead, and also the Vegeta and Trunks. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so we'll go with that. Um, continue with the stacking strategy, and the good thing is even though we do have type disadvantage with the Goku and Gohan, they have such high defense now that supers are still only going to be doing about 100k to them, and Gogeta is eating that for 78k. Pretty nice. Alright, 3.2 mil from the Gogeta. Such a clean animation. Man, it's just so sad you don't get to see it more. It's really sad you don't get to see this more. 
And of course, the normal attacks are doing about double to triple digit damage, but very low triple digits, like literally just over 100. Yeah, we're almost done here. There's not much else to say. <laughs> not much else to say. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying today's video. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the showcase of the Super Saiyans team. I'm still super, super excited about being able to run it. Um, because going into the banner, I really did not expect anything. With the luck I've been having recently, I expect nothing at all these days. I really don't. So being able to pull this card that I really, really wanted was a nice breath of fresh air. Uh, renewed my hope in the game, definitely. And let's actually, yeah, like I said, play it safe. Let's actually pop the Icarus. But it renewed my hope in the game. It made me excited to play it again. And... It's just nice. It's just nice to finally not be shafted for once. <sighs> All right. Give me some nice counters here. Nope. Yeah, unless you're critting on the counters, they're really not doing that much damage to you. Yeah, see, there you go. The crit counter, 815k, and the normal counter is like under 100k. Pretty big difference right there. Pretty massive difference right there. But this guy is just refusing to crit that much, man. I've had like four or five crit counters in a row, and it's the most beautiful thing in the game, but we're not getting that right now. We're not getting that right now. Although, I will take a crit on a super. I will definitely take that crit on the super. Ooh, 210k on the regular um, counter. And here is our Goku once again. <sighs> beautiful animation. Beautiful, beautiful animation. Um, once we get below 50% HP, I'm actually gonna do the uh, active skill transformation because I really want to see that. It's it's awesome as well. Uh, this guy just has the best animations in the game, guys. No question. I don't care what anybody says. The transforming Namek Goku has by far the cleanest animations in the entire game, and that's including LRs as well. That's including LRs. It's just it's just beautiful. It's just absolutely. Glorious. Alright, well, I mean, I guess the friend's just not gonna transform, man. I guess he's just not gonna transform in this entire run. I Maybe I'm playing it too safe, but I also don't want to die, but it's just... I've never had this situation, man. I've never run into the situation where I haven't been able to transform this Goku throughout the entire run. Like, it, it's kind of weird. And it had to happen for the video. It couldn't have happened just like when I'm chilling on the couch off camera. It had to be this way with this video, but a clear is a clear, right? A clear is a clear, and it's not like we use that many items. We've used three items so far. I don't suspect we have to use another item for this entire run. At least I hope not. Alright, we're getting an additional. Um, and yeah, I mean, this guy's almost dead. About a third of his health left. Uh, if you guys follow the strategy, for anybody that has been struggling with this new event, just follow the strategy, guys. Very, very simple methodology behind it. Just bring units that can stack defense. Just look for units that say raises defense or attack and defense, but mostly raises defense um, on their super attack. So, for example, um, the Goku, like right here. Let me show you real quick. The uh, Goku and Gohan here have raises defense and causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers attack so that's what we're looking for raises defense and if you bring a bunch of units that do that then you're good to go man you don't even have to have that good units overall you know what i mean like all you have to do is bring units that have that stacking mechanic has that defense raising mechanic and there's nothing really to worry about there's i mean for this type of disadvantage here i'm still a bit worried i'm still a little bit worried he does have very high defense but as i said a super is still gonna hurt a little bit but not nearly as much as it would if he didn't have that stacking mechanic, right? Which is why, if you want that huge challenge, definitely, definitely, or more of a challenge, rather, definitely bring a team with nobody that stacks defense, and then you'll see whether or not this event is a breeze, right? Don't, don't, don't call this event super easy when you're bringing, like, literally the most OP possible combination of units in the game. Oh, there we go. There's the crit counters, back to back. Beautiful. Okay, this this could do some damage. Yeah, Vegito cannot eat these uh, eat these supers that well. 261k, damn. Yeah, that's that's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough. <laughs> All right, so the 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 transformed Goku here is gonna have over 200,000 defense. Uh, so we're okay. We're good. 
All right, um, I would item here, but I don't think I have to. I don't think I have to. We're gonna recover some HP here. Yeah, we're not gonna item again. Come on, we don't need to item again. There we go. That's gonna end it, guys. I'm calling it right now. That's that's gonna do it. Yeah, it's gonna do it. Yo, if I get if I get super here though, if he dodges the super, oh no, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say if he dodges this super here, and then we get super at the end. That might have been a mistake, but since he didn't dodge the super, we did over 200, 200, 2 million damage. That's it. That's the showcase, guys. Uh, Gogeta ended it off. There is no other unit I would rather have finish off this showcase, finish off this run, than that Gogeta. He is still the pride and joy of my um, collection. He's the only... He's not actually the only one anymore, but he is my first rainbowed LR. Not like free to play, but just summonable rainbow LR uh, in my entire account and that means a lot to me so definitely the pride and joy of my account right there and I would add the guy but unfortunately I already have a full friends list so I couldn't but uh, thank you for the help whoever that guy was I forgot his name that was clear number six we need one more clear to get all the rewards and all the tickets and then I will be doing a summoning video as well after that's done so stay tuned for that probably later today honestly I'll probably just do one more run off camera finish it off get all the tickets and then do my summons but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video guys that is the showcase of the super saiyans team on the legendary goku event transforming goku uh lr gogeta lr vegito uh goku and gohan vegeta and trunks as well as the transforming vegeta who is very effective on the last stage against the ui goku and that's it as always guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content but that's all from me that's all i gotta say until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out